transform your vision into a functioning mobile app using Thunkable UI components and app features. User interface components or UI components define your app's look, while app features allow you to tap into a mobile device's unique functionalities. Let's start with UI components in the Design tab. A UI component is a visual element users can see or interact with. Thunkable offers more than 20 UI components for you to add to your app screens. Each of these components is fully customizable and controllable with blocks. Let's walk through a few of them. The button component gives your user familiar ways to start actions in your app. It is one of the most recognizable and commonly used UI components, from navigating between app screens, submitting user inputs, and triggering a device's camera to take a photo, buttons are so versatile. Label components are used to display read-only text. On this screen, most of what you see are label components. Each label on this screen serves one of two purposes, identifier label or output label. The labels with unique text entries are identifier labels. They are static text labels used to identify the content that will populate the corresponding field. The labels where the text says data source output are output labels and act as placeholders. The text within these label components will populate based on the content of a connected data source, such as a spreadsheet. As you can see, labels are an extremely powerful and versatile Thunkable UI component. Next, let's look at the text input, a field where users can enter text such as a name or an email address. If we wanted our users to be able to submit their profile information using the app, we could adapt a copy of this employee profile screen and replace the output labels with text inputs. You can duplicate a screen or individual UI component using copy and paste keyboard shortcuts. Simply click on a screen or component name in the component tree or the screen or component within your workspace and use copy and paste keyboard shortcuts to create a duplicate of it. Rename the new screen you just created. In the component tree, locate the Create Employee screen and nest it under it the employee name label and click the associated garbage can icon to delete the label. Confirm the deletion. Drag a text input component onto the screen and place it where the employee name label previously was. Each UI component you add to your app has an associated properties panel unique to that component. Using the various settings available in the properties panel, you can style and customize your Thunkable UI components to give your app personality and style that best suits your brand. Thunkable app building best practice is to show a hint in the text input to help communicate its purpose to your users. Let's see it in action. Click the web preview button and type a name in the text input field. To convert the entire screen, continue in this manner and replace each output label with a text input. We'll cover how to program the text inputs with blocks in a future course. Lastly, let's take a deeper dive into groups. A group is a container component in which other user interface components are placed. Groups are useful when you want to combine multiple components into one. This allows for their position and visibility to be easily altered. On this sign-in screen, for example, if a user clicks to switch from the sign up experience to the sign in experience, what is displayed on the screen changes. This is achieved by placing the UI components in groups that are hidden or shown based on what the user clicks. And there are many other UI components that we didn't touch on here. You can learn more about each of them in the Thunkable Docs, and we encourage you to explore all the components library has to offer. Now let's check out Thunkable's app features. These easy-to-integrate features drastically expand your app's native mobile functionality. App features are accessed from the Blocks tab. The Camera app feature allows you to access a device's camera and photo library for both images and videos. Some of the possible utilizations of this feature include taking a photo or video and adding it to the app, retrieving photos or videos from the device's library, scanning a barcode or QR code, and generating a description of an image. The Speech app feature allows you to translate text, recognize speech, and speak a number of languages. There are many other powerful app features you can incorporate, but in the interest of time, let's explore one last one. The Share app feature allows you to, well, share. You can use it to share media and messages using the device's communication apps. Some examples of how it can be utilized include sending an email, calling a phone number, and sending a text message. A quick note here about these blocks. Right-clicking on some of the app featured blocks allows you to switch between regular and advanced versions. We'll explore the advanced blocks in a future video. Thanks for tuning in for Thunkable UI components and app features. By incorporating a variety of versatile Thunkable UI components and app features, you will transform your app from bland to grand in no time. And remember, if you can think it, you can thunk it.